Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G Pure, and today I'll show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, before we get started, there is uh, one thing that we will need, which is an internet connection. So, progress through the setup, uh, connect to network, and then go back to the first page, which is what I'll do in a second, but I just want to uh, Gonna showcase this so we can see that the phone is locked. I have a pattern as a means on of unlocking it. Can click right here, and obviously it's gonna tell me to use my Google account instead to uh, verify the previously logged in account. And you can also see this little lock right here at the top. So obviously it's locked. So now uh, connect to network. You can see I have already done so. From there, we're gonna back out to the first page of the setup right over here. We're gonna select vision settings, and then we're gonna select talkback. And we're going to enable it by flipping this switch right here and then muting the device because it's going to be annoying. Talk back on. Oh, there, whoa. Welcome to talk back. Okay, that... To talk back. I was for a moment thinking that it's not going to be doing anything, but then I just blasted with, uh, with the most annoying and loud obnoxious voice I possibly could expect. So anyway, um, it looks like we cannot like completely turn it down, unfortunately, so I'm just going to be trying to cover up the speaker just as much as I can because it is distracting to me. But anyway, so once your talkback is enabled, uh, you will probably realize that uh, screen isn't functioning as it normally does. So uh, now you first have to tap on something to select it um, and double tap to confirm it. So that is how we're going to be navigating from uh, now till we turn it off. But anyway, you can see there is an outline around the text uh, around the welcome to talkback. If you have something else selected, like close, tap on the text, draw a mirrored L like this. Let's bring up a uh, window right here. I'm going to tap on while using the app, then double tap to confirm it. And single tap use voice comments. And before we double tap on it, I'm going to quickly go into uh, what we will need to audibly say to the device. Uh, it will literally need to be said because it's going to enable the uh, kind of like text to command function. So number one, uh, when you double tap on it, you'll hear a beep, at which point you want to say open Google Assistant. This will open up Google Assistant, uh, or first you will hear a beep, then it will open it up. Then you'll hear another beep uh, that Google Assistant is not listening to you, at which point you want to say open YouTube. And it should open up YouTube, obviously. So I'll do it right now and you can just hear and see how I'm doing it. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So there we go. Uh, you could also hear probably pretty uh, loudly the beeps that would signify that it's uh, listening to me and that it accepted command. Now once uh, YouTube is open, uh, we can now suspend the talkback by holding volume up and down at the same time. Select turn on counterintuitively and hold them again. I swear Motorola has the most annoying and obnoxious sounds of of all the phones. They're just way too loud. Anyway. So now that we have uh, YouTube open, you want to select the account icon. And we're gonna navigate to settings, about, and Google privacy policy. Accept and continue, and no thanks. And once your browser opens up, tap at the search bar and navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. I'm gonna write it down myself, and if you need a moment to copy it yourself, do pause the video. So now would be the time to uh, pause if you need to. Now once the site loads up, select consent. And we're gonna scroll down to settings. Click on it. Once it opens up, we will then navigate to apps right over here, right at the top. And then we're going to select see all 40 apps or however many it shows for you. Um, let's see, we need to assistant 
Android setup. So we do see Android setup. So it looks like we don't need to enable system activities, but if you don't see something like Android setup or later on Google Play services, you can tap right here and select show system. This will add apps uh, or running tasks in the background that you usually wouldn't see. Anyway, from here, uh, select Android setup. I'm gonna select for stop and okay. And the next thing we're gonna do is go back and then scroll down to Google Play services. CD F G. There we go. Google Play Services right over here. And again, I'm gonna just oops. Services, not store. And in here we're gonna select disable, disable app, and for stop and OK. Now from here we're gonna go back. And <sighs> that is just too loud. Uh, Gonna go back once more and once more to the main settings page right here and we're gonna scroll down to accessibility right over here hmm. ah now i can mute it there we go i highly recommend doing the same thing because google play services uh when it's disabled a phone will be spamming us with notification sound and as you hear Motorola doesn't care about your uh, hearing, so they're just gonna blast it full volume, which is quite annoying. So anyway, uh, in accessibility, uh, you want to find accessibility mini and simply enable it. Select allow and okay. And as you can see, it adds this weird little pop-up on the side. So once you have this, you want to just start spamming the back button There we go. From here, we're gonna progress through the setup. Now we should be able to get past this screen. Uh, it might take a moment before the phone, I don't know, does whatever it's doing. Um, honestly, not exactly sure what it's trying to do right now. It would be always nice if Android would actually give us some kind of information because just a moment uh, is not very clear on what you're doing. Anyway, once you see the don't co uh, or copy apps and data, you want to select don't copy. And this is usually where the phone checks uh, if the device is locked or not and then gives you the uh, screen where it just tells you to verify it, right? Or just allows you to sign into Google account if you wish to, uh, if it's not locked. But because we have disabled Google Play services, uh, it's just going to be stuck right here checking for updates and it's gonna give you just a sec uh, as a brief flash and go back to checking for updates because it just cannot connect to anything. So what we need to do now is we're gonna tap on this accessibility menu, select assistant, then select settings once it shows up. Oh, it, it was right there. Come on. And we do want to basically enable the Google Play services. So right here, boom. Now, as you can see, it might take you several tries before you manage to enable it. And that's completely normal. Just keep on uh, doing it till you actually manage to enable it. Just persevere through, through this annoyance. And from there, once it's enabled, just go back once. So make sure you only press this once. Now, this popped up at one point. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Hopefully it will not mess up the actual bypass. So I'm gonna try to go back. Normally once you enable Google Play uh, services again and you go back, you should basically be taken to the next page. This showed up at one point before I enabled it. I was hoping that it would close. For some reason I'm back in Play services, so.
and it did mess up so that's unfortunate for me oh wait did it no it didn't okay we're good i was actually worried that it messed it up but apparently it i mean it did kind of screw up i'm not gonna lie this is not the cleanest bypass that i have done normally it just goes a little bit smoother but that pop-up just kind of messed up things i'm not sure at what point it came up and why but normally uh assuming you don't have that you will just enable google play services go back and it should automatically go to the next page on its own uh so from there or from this page now where it tells us to set a pin we can skip this and skip and we can now finish up the setup this will give us access to the home screen from which we will perform a factory reset of the device Okay, so now that we have access to the home screen, just navigate to settings. From here, scroll all the way down to system. Reset options. Erase all data. Erase all data. And press on that button once again. This will perform, like I mentioned, a factory reset of the device. Now, for the people interested, the reason you need to do this uh, it's because the device is still locked. Now, performing a factory reset of the device through settings, like I'm telling you to do right now, will unlock the device. The device, uh, when it's being reset through settings, doesn't really think that it needs to keep any of the securities because usually when people reset it through settings, they have access to obviously the, they can bypass the screen lock by unlocking the device and usually whatever was logged in was logged in by them, right? So the device doesn't consider this to be a uh, a breach of like security in any kind of way so when you reset it it completely gets rid of the previously used uh, protections like the screen locks pin pattern passwords all gone along with google accounts which is a last step that you want to take now i'm not going to do it just because uh, on the video uh, because it it's a lot of black screen it takes a couple minutes to finish up and once it's completed uh, we are taken back to the setup screen of the device at which point we can set it up however we want it, it will be fully unlocked so you can just set it up as a brand new device in a way you don't need to do any kind of bypassing or anything like that anymore so it, after pressing this button uh, the video will bring you basically no value that's why i don't want to really go through it so anyway now uh, with this being said once you select this button your bypass is then completely finished and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.